Good morning, boys and girls. Today's book is going to be The Babysitter's Planet. And it is by Stephen Savage. I am going to read this story, boys and girls. Then I'm going to show you the pictures. It was Friday night and mom and dad were headed to the movies. The babysitter will be here any moment now. This sounds like an adventurous story. I think she may have arrived, said my big sister. It was... The Babysitter from Another Planet by Stephen Savage once again. She took some getting used to. but she knew just what to do. It looks like she's making a really nice dinner, boys and girls. She helped us with our homework. Wow, I wish I could meet a... Uh, she helped us with our homework. And she made sure we brushed our teeth. She read us a bedtime story and sang us her favorite lullaby. As She doesn't speak our language, so that is her favorite lullaby. But we weren't tired at all. We didn't even notice mom and dad pulling into the driveway. Quick, jump into bed. wonder what they're gonna do. Oh no, the nightlight's not working. The babysitter from another planet she smiled away. I wonder if she's going to fix the light. Let's see. Guess what? It looks like she's meditating and she's glowing at the same time. She is their nightlight. I wish I had a, Mar a Martian nightlight. That would be something super spectacular, if you ask me. The next Friday, mom and dad went to the movies again. This time our babysitter was just a plain old human. Hmm. So we called the babysitter from another planet. Oh, and this time, this is a different Martian. Hmm, I wonder, maybe it's the same. Look, there are friends and they're all watching a little movie. Looks like they're learning about dinosaurs on, on that TV screen. The end, boys and girls. Today's craft will be a little bit about this book. It's fun, it's really relaxing, and I hope that you will enjoy it. So listen in now. Boys and girls, today I would like you to meet my assistant, Daisy. She's been having a, such a great time learning about space with me. Daisy, 
do you want to say hello to the boys and girls out there? No? Okay. Well, let's get our activity started. Today's craft. Boys and girls, for our activity today, you will need the kinetic sand that I sent you. On the top it says kinetic sand. That's all you need for this activity. Well, let's open it up. Boys and girls, before we find out what's inside our kinetic sand, we need to do the following things first. You're going to need to wash your hands with water and soap, and then dry your hands. Fix yourself a glass of water, and let's get started. Boys and girls, I am using a steel flat surface. Oh. Hi, Daisy. And if you don't have a flat surface, that's okay to get um, a little bit of coloring on. I would suggest taking a cutting board and doing your activity on that flat surface. Daisy, let's do this experiment. Boys and girls, I have taken out all of my kinetic sand out of my tub. So now, by now, you have probably realized that kinetic sand is so super smooth and it's fun. And look, it moves around. So that's why I thought this activity would be really fun with some kinetic sand. I do see a few things in here. What do you think they are? Hmm, let's find out. I'm digging in here. Ah, oh, it's a person? Like a doll? Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Boys and girls, it is a Martian. How cute is that? So I see another Martian and it is another Martian. Let's see if they stand up. If they can't stand up on this flat surface, guess what? Maybe we can have them stand up in the kinetic sand. But guess what? They're just gonna fall back because kinetic sand has some materials in there to make it light and fluffy. So enjoy. You can keep burying your Martians and finding them again. You can just play with your kinetic sand and relax with it. Boys and girls, I just pretended to make a planet. This is a red planet. Can you guess which planet is red? Boys and girls, if you guessed that I made Mars, you are well, correct. Well, that's it for now, boys and girls. I need to get going because I think Daisy is interested in possibly eating our activity, which is not something we do. Right, Daisy? I know. Boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed learning all kinds of different places and books where you can learn all about space and the cosmic universe. Also, please wash your hands after using kinetic sand. Always practice safe washing. Have a good day.